Well, howdy hey. If it isn't you again, it's so crazy to see you here again. That's so amazing that you always show up right as I start streaming. Oh, you're watching the VOD? Oh, okay. That actually makes a lot more sense. Uh, good to see I didn't fix my camera before I started streaming again. Uh, so the tripod's still broken. Um, are you are you doing well? I, I hope you're doing well. I hope everything's going okay. Um, so a little bit about what's going to happen today. I have mystery boxes from Idobao. They sponsored this stream. Full disclosure, the stream is sponsored. I was paid for this stream. They have not told me what to say. They have not given me a list of any talking points. Um, and I'm going to be fully skeptical throughout the whole entire time. So don't worry about that. Um, but just getting that out of the way right up uh, in the front. So we've got some mystery boxes. I'm gonna open very skeptically. Um, and then, uh, you know, first I'm gonna talk to chat. I'm gonna say, howdy, hey, how's it going? How are you doing? Um, I hope you're doing well. Here, let me switch my little mic around. Let me get a little bit more intimate with you and talk with you like this. Oh, that's so great that we could just uh, be here to talk like this. Wait, no, that's not what I wanted to move. I wanted to move this and then bring this up like that. Oh, and I have a forehead now. That's so, that's so crazy. Sophie, that is a great question. And in fact, what I wanted to answer right off the bat. So these are mystery boxes <laughs> that were specifically sent to me Caswire, howdy, hey, thank you so much for the dollar. I appreciate it. So these are mystery boxes that were explicitly sent to me um, as Hippiotech. Now, if you're a human being with any form of cerebral capacity, you will probably know that that means that this is not a real mystery box. Um, so I'm starting right off the bat by saying, I don't believe this is a real mystery box. I do heavily believe that they probably picked out what they were going to send to me. Um, whether or not they did, or whether or not they used the same methodology that they're going to use to pick other people's mystery boxes, uh, maybe. But I'll talk a little... Well, okay, full disclosure, I'm making a video on this. Um, but there's going to be some shenanigans going on to get to the bottom of this. I'll leave it at that. I don't want to give away my secrets yet. But for the final video which will not be the stream VOD that you're watching right now. There will be some additional information on the, the mystery behind these. But I, if it's basically fake. It's just a box of something they wanted me to see. That's what I'm assuming, right? So that's what I'm assuming. And that's how I'm going to... That's how I'm going to approach it. Um, just because otherwise that's not... I feel like that's not really partial. If I was like, oh yeah, the sponsor sent me a mystery box. Wow, I unboxed something. And yeah, I'd. If a YouTuber and a mystery box show up in the same room, meh. Anyways, now that that's over, I've got two of these. So. Ah. Ah. There we go. And the part that is worth mentioning is that if you are watching this within a close vicinity of this video going live or the stream going live, Idabout is doing their anniversary sale, which, I mean, even if they weren't sponsoring me, I would say it's a pretty great sale. There is a lot of keyboards for quite cheap, quite affordable prices. Some keyboards that I've recommended in past videos even that weren't sponsored. So I recommend checking out their actual sale. It's linked down below in the description if you're interested. Uh, it's probably the cheapest you'll get a lot of their keyboards just in general. Why is the jazz so loud right now? Jazz, chill. Thank you so much. Um, but yeah, so that's going to be the cheapest you'll get Idobel boards is through their sale. Larry, howdy, hey. Howdy, hey. It's great to see you. I hope you're doing well. There we go. Uh, evidently, the sun is going to ruin my day again, once again today. Uh, we've got the sun ruining Sun v. Hippiotech number two. But, yeah, in front of me, I've got two mystery boxes from Idobao that I'm guessing aren't mysterious. Now, in order to solve this, I have a solution that I'm going to be deploying soon. Not in the stream, sorry. Uh, but, yeah, 
in this vid it's these aren't gonna be I, they're a mystery to me I haven't opened them actually um, but yeah it's really warm in my room though I, I closed my door and now it's 74 degrees in my room I'm gonna have to open my door and just hear my laundry machine going because it's too hot it's too hot So everybody say howdy hey to Hippio Laundry Machine Noises. Say howdy hey Hippio Laundry Machine Noises. Oh gosh, wait, hold on. I, I shouldn't open this yet. I have to, the suspense is killing me, but I have to promote my stream. I would not be a good streamer if I just started streaming and then did not promote my stream at all. In fact, I don't even think I've turned ads on for this stream. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no, I haven't, oops. You guys like the thumbnail though? I made that in two seconds. You could probably tell that I made that in two seconds. <laughs> it's it's not very low key. I just took a screenshot of the uh, of the stream. I but you know, oh, 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 I hear myself. Stop, stop. There we go. Howdy, hey, laundry machine noises. Can you guys actually hear my laundry machine? Um, it might sound like metal hitting metal. In the background, you probably hear it. There's probably no way to unhear it. Okay. Here, so I want everybody to place their bets of like what you think will be in these mystery boxes. So, dude is washing spoons. You got me. I actually, you know, my dishwasher broke, so I just put all my spoons in the in the dryer to dry them. It works pretty well. When you're not talking, there's some. Okay, that's not too bad then. ID75? Yeah, I have a feeling they're all going to be ID75s. I feel like the ID75 is like their worst board, performance-wise. And they're just like liquidating their ID75 stock. <laughs> they're, they're like anybody that buys a mystery box gets an ID75 and like, I don't know, whatever their ugliest keycaps are. Um, okay, so... Opening keyboard mystery boxes. Okay, there we go. Boom. Boom, boom, boom. All right. Uh, what about an abacus? Or do they do they make abacuses? Ab abacai? What? I'm a little bit confused. What? Well, I'm I'm confused. Anyways, is that a board or like an actual abacus? It's on Idaba. Oh, interesting. Who just pinged me? Howdy, hey Discord gang. Hey Discord gang, it's so great to see you here. Welcome to the stream. For all of you that are in my Discord and just got a nice little nice little ping from me, thank you so much for joining my stream. Howdy, hey, it's great to have you here. Shout out every member of my Discord. Um Except the ones that react with mean emojis to my uh, posts. Those guys hurt my feelings quite a bit. I don't know why you're still in my Discord if you don't like my posts. Um, it kind of makes me sad. Um, but howdy hey, meet me at 8. Howdy hey, all of you. I got banned from there probably for good reason. You know, I'm not gonna, I'm not going to point any fingers. But if you get banned from my Discord, usually it's a good reason. That's, there's probably been a couple that weren't good reasons. But other than that, pretty good reasoning going on there. Howdy hey E1. Howdy hey. LG, howdy hey. I am intrigued for when it hits summertime and I have to get my massive window air conditioning unit next to me. How loud that thing is gonna be. Ugh. Cause it's already like, when it hits 74 degrees in here, I'm toasty. I'm proper toasty. I'm fully toasted up. I've even got a fan pointed at me. I guess I could turn the fan up one more notch, but even though I got banned, I still love your videos. Thank you. I appreciate that. Even if you're naughty, you know, if you could respect the respect the grind, I appreciate it. You know? The Abacus is also the ID47. Oh, okay. They're 40%. That's right. Yeah, they did try and get me to review their 40% at one point, and I said, sorry. It's, uh, it's not that interesting to me. I'm sorry. But maybe one day. Um, it just didn't seem... I don't know. I wasn't that stoked at 40%. I don't think I'm still 
very stoked at 40 percent sorry 40 percent gang <laughs> lucky number seven don't spray lube well jokes on you that's actually your 10 month anniversary meet me at eight but thank you so much for 10 months of support that's pretty crazy if you guys want to be like meet me at eight and support the channel you can hit the join button down below however you can also hit the brand new button it's hidden next to the dollar sign it's the gift membership button i'm trialing it for youtube and nobody's used it yet so i don't actually know if it works don't tell youtube that um, but there you go favorite jelly bean flavor it was root beer um and then i developed like a root beer allergy and now every time i have root beer i throw up so it's no longer root beer because that gives me really bad memories um hmm probably cream soda you ever had the cream soda jelly beans those are really good those are really good like yes really good where's the money sign it's uh next to your chat yeah it's the dollar sign button uh in the in your chat that's where you can super chat, which puts up a little sticker that I can reply to and say, howdy, hey, um, and more. So, yeah. Finally made it to a live of yours. Well, howdy, hey, welcome. Have you heard of the Echo 3068B? I haven't. Please open the boxes already. I know, the suspense is really killing me as well. In fact, I've had them in my room for like four, five days, and the seal is still on them. So if I can be patient for five days, trust me, we can all be patient for five more minutes for more people to join the stream and enjoy the fun. What are the three digits on the back of your credit card? That's a really good question. I'm so glad you asked. Um, actually, when I think about the three digits on the back of my credit card, I have to think about which one because um, I like to maximize my credit card miles. So I've got I've got multiple different credit cards. Um, so you're gonna have to you're gonna have to specify which one you want the three digits for. Greetings from Austria. Howdy, hey, Austria. Literally all of Austria. Hippia social security number reveal. Please, no. Yeah, I really like it when the back of my credit card says 42069. That's actually one of my favorite number combos. When's the next vid with switch and click? That's a good... Hmm. That's a good point. I should do another vid with switch and click. It's not planned yet. Well, actually, hold on. I think we're doing one in July. I think we're doing one in July. I'm really bad at keeping up with these things. I need to keep up with more things. I need to hit up more friends and be like, hey, how are you doing? You know, I need to keep myself a little bit more accountable for things like that. I, you guys ever think of a friend that you were like really good friends with like seven years ago and then you just don't text them? I do that like a lot and I kind of feel bad about it. Maybe that's opening up too much on stream. Sorry guys, let me go back to um. Uh, bing bong. Howdy hey. Bing bong. Bing bong. There we go. Be better. That's better. Um, no, I never had friends. That's a bummer. It's a bummer. What do you think of Akko Lavender Switches? I've used them in the build before. They're quite nice. Yeah. This stream is the worst time for me? Oh, I'm sorry. I try my best, really. I try and hit the, like... America getting off a of work crowd, but then also like the only time I feel like streaming crowd Which there's a good reason why I don't schedule streams and it's usually like because I don't feel like streaming all the time Which if, if somebody felt like streaming all the time We're gonna have to get those people checked out Definitely That's gonna be a little bit sketchy. Oh Howdy. Hey Anderson G. Howdy. Hey, it's so great to have you here. Welcome to the watering hole gang. Uh, how you doing? How, how's everything going? Let me drink some water in your honor real fast. Very cool of you to, to stop by Anderson G. I finished my first eight hour stream yesterday. Like you streamed for eight hours. Whew, that's a doozy. I feel like there's diminishing returns on that one. Would the EU so from your keyb or from your vid be a good keyb to try and mod? That keyboard gave me, like, keyboard depression. Like, straight up, after I modded that keyboard, I did not want to touch a keyboard for, like, another month. So I don't recommend it, unless you're trying to save money by never wanting to build another keyboard ever again. Um, so, maybe not. Maybe not. Like, it sounded great. It turned out great. And then I never wanted to touch another keyboard for a month. It was, it was pretty rough. Maybe two months. I don't know. It was a while. 
It's like after that video, I was like, oof. Oof. Because like putting in each switch hurt my hands because how bad those hot swap sockets were. I don't know. It was rough. It's a plastic case. How's the new house? It's not bad. It's not bad. Um, my last place was better in almost every way. Uh, but I had a very, very good deal there. And uh, it was short term. So this place is not bad by any means. Like it's still really amazing. I'm uh, still very happy to be here. But uh, there's some, some more trials that we've encountered and like furnishing it and all of that. I did not purchase this house. Let me just say I'm renting. I'm renting. I'm probably paying more than I want to on rent. Um, but yeah, I, I still don't really have a living room as, as some of you that follow me on Instagram have seen. Uh, my living room is a mess. However, I have a video idea and I wanted to pitch you guys on this video idea. Probably, I'm assuming 90% of you won't care, but that's why I'm gonna pull you live. I'd like to know if you care. Um, so I had a video idea that was, I have five interior designers from Fiverr design my room. Okay. And then that's, so that's an idea. So five interior designers design my room, but then I have a YouTube professional interior designer review and critique their designs with me. Um, uh, this guy named Nick Lewis. This guy named Nick Lewis is very interesting. I've been watching his interior design videos. Yes. Oh, you guys do care. Okay. Okay. That's honestly shocking to me that you guys care. Um, I thought it would be a pretty entertaining video. So here's the catch though. So normally it, these people will do like Fiverr things and they'll be like, oh, uh, these Fiverr people are doing this and whatever. But like, I think the high stakes are like whichever living room is the best. I actually have to buy the living room, which I think would be very funny. Um, like overhauling my living room from Fiverr or, or something like that. I don't know. I thought it'd be very fun. Uh, Nick Lewis is the guy's name. He's a interior designer YouTuber from Vancouver, and I really like his stuff. And he said he'd be keen on judging it, so that would be very cool if he would judge it. Um, like a professional. Um, so that would be cool. Make the house inside the keyboard. I could incorporate keyboards in some way. I could. I really could. Um, I really could. Now... A lot of you were telling me I need to incorporate keyboards into my music, and I would like to say I have officially sampled a keyboard sound and put it in a song I am making. I'm not going to give you any more than that. Um, I might give my members like a little snippet of what the sound bite sounds like, because um, it's really funny. It's it's worked in as like almost like a shaker, like a, a maraca type of sound in my song. It's the thockiest sample of a keyboard I've gotten yet. And it's in my next song. Well, not my next song. It's in my next, next song. Um, let us design your house. That's a disaster waiting to happen. I let my subscribers design my house. Let me, I need to write that down. Hey Google, make a note. I let my subscribers design my house. Okay. No, no. Hey, Google, stop. I don't need any more. I don't need anything else from you. Thank you so much. That's... <laughs> nope. Yeah, you can, you can stop. Thank you. Okay. Anyways. I, I'm writing that down. That's actually kind of a good idea. I let my subscribers design my pizza. That's a good one, too. You activated my Google? I'm sorry. Hey, Google. Play Cadeli music on Spotify. Hey Google, stop. Is it playing now? What have I done? I was trying to play Cadeli on Spotify and it just didn't. Ah, what a disaster. Um, a little bit of update on my music for those of you that actually do care. I hit 70,000 monthly listeners today. 
and 425,000 streams on my latest song, which is honestly insane. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm not going to do any more of the any more of the triggering your robot things. I'm sorry. I I overstepped trust. I overstepped a boundary there. I won't do it again. But yeah, my songs hit or my last song hit over 425,000 streams, which is honestly crazy. Um, I did not expect that with that song ever, but apparently a lot of people are keen on that one. Um, you're going to be at the Cannon Keys or Novel Keys meetups. I haven't heard about those, so I'm assuming no. Hmm. But I want to go to some keyboard meetups now that everything's kind of chilling back out again soon. So hopefully soon. Which song? Uh, Wake Up. Wake Up. In fact, I did just announce today that I am releasing a stripped version of Wake Up. No, that is not a version of Wake Up where I was naked while singing it. Um, it's a version of Wake Up with a stripped back instrumental. So it's much more chill. Um, it doesn't have the hardcore like guitars going like, you know, none of that. Um, stripped back, it's more sad. For those of you that like more sad music, you'll like that. For those of you that don't, maybe avoid, maybe don't listen to that one. Um, anyways, that's happening July 1st. No naked hip, yo. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I tried. I, I couldn't get it. I couldn't get it approved. For some reason, they wouldn't let me put my naked body on the album art. I don't know what's going on with that. They let a bunch of other people do it. They let a bunch of other artists do it. Like Katy Perry does it, but they won't let me do it. I don't know what's going on with that. Um, <sighs> uh, see, that's just what I mentioned, Jawade. I did sample a keyboard for one of my upcoming songs. Um, so that's going to be cool. Anyways, as some people are remarkably impatient and want to just get to the meaty, juicy potatoes of this mystery box, I guess I can open it. Okay. Degenerate Weeb? Normally, I wouldn't listen to a Degenerate Weeb, uh, and I wouldn't take their feedback seriously, but honestly, I appreciate you so much. That means a lot. Um, also, I don't know why somebody was spamming in my YouTube chat, but they're now officially banned forever, so that's good for them. Um, anyways, let's switch back to the other cam. I need to fix this, uh, microphone mount. I need to, cause look, why does it go down? Why it go down? Stop. It's time to stop. Where's your parent? Okay. Or right, did we do it? Okay, I think we did it. All right. All right, for those of you that are gonna inevitably gonna ask, this is my Niz keyboard that I use basically daily uh, with Infinikey Delight keycaps that you can get from the key company. They're my keycaps, I love them very much. There you go. All right. Oh gosh, what have I done? There we go. Okay. Whew. So we've got two mystery boxes here from Idobao. Idobao has sponsored this stream, so full disclosure. I don't know. They sponsored the first 20 minutes where I talked about nothing, but... Yep. Um, you should do a stream name, Nothing Interesting at All, where nothing interesting at all happens. I feel like that's every stream I do, but fair enough. Um, so we've got two. Do I open the top or the bottom first? Top or bottom first? Any thoughts on the AV4? I have the AV3, but I never actually got the type on it because it was sent to me broken. Um, top or bottom? Top or bottom? Just here. I'm going to do a poll. Hold on. Hold on. Top, bottom. Okay. I did a poll. You guys don't have to type it. You can actually... Um, you can actually just hit the, you can type your, your answer um, instead. Don't spare the oh. Hey, Gom. Hold on. Sorry, Gom. I'm trying to give you the respect you deserve, but I'm also trying to straighten out my camera. Okay. 
Um, everybody place your votes real fast. Um, Gom. Howdy, hey. It's so great to have you here. Thank you so much. Why is it... Why are you facing more down? Okay. Gum, howdy, hey. Welcome to the Watering Hole Gang. It's so great to have you here. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. I'm going to drink some water in your honor as we do for the members of the Watering Hole Gang. Okay. All right. So, let's see. What are we at? Whoa, okay. 56 to 44%. Chat has now decided that we are going to open the top first. All right. So, theoretically, now Idobao has a bunch of these mystery boxes, and I don't recommend that you go out and buy them. I recommend you shop the other stuff on their sale. You never got watered, Anderson? Cheers. That's for you. Okay, so yeah, I don't necessarily recommend you buy their mystery boxes. Um, mystery boxes are basically gambling. Um, Idoba has a lot of really good stuff that you can buy that's on a huge sale right now. And the sale is linked in the description. I recommend, instead of gambling, you buy one of their keyboards that's in stock and guaranteed. Uh, period. That's, that's my verdict. So don't buy a mystery box. Buy one of their other things. There's nothing guaranteeing what item you're going to get from these mystery boxes. They could send you two switches. I mean, maybe they won't, but like, they don't explicitly say that they won't send you two switches. Um, so yeah, that's my, that, that's my huge disclaimer here. They might have sponsored me, but they didn't tell me I can't say whatever I want. So I'm going to say whatever I want. So. It looks like just a normal Idobao box. As you can see, I have left these completely sealed. I have not opened these before. These have been non-tampered with by me. They have said you get your money's worth. That's true. I feel like that's completely subjective, right? With the amounts that you're paying, like 30 bucks, you should expect no keyboards, period. Like for 30 bucks, I don't think you should expect a keyboard. That uh, just doesn't make sense. Um, but let's see what we have here. Okay. We've got a golden ticket. Of some kind. Uh, and then what looks to be keycaps of some kind too. But this is a golden envelope. I'm not sure what's in this golden envelope. Maybe it's an invitation to the Idobao factory. That would be cool. Now, some of you might have known I went to the cherry factory. But I think going to the Idobao factory might be kind of cool. Golden, that's blue, but look, this is gold. You see? Okay. Now, I don't know if I should open this on camera. Maybe this is like, hello, Hippiotech and Hippiotech social security number. Um, that would definitely tell me if this was specially packed for me. Oh. Yeah, no. Okay. No, it's, it's literally just a blanket thank you. A give back to all your support, Idobao brand anniversary. This could be sent to anyone, I think. Um, oh, but that is my picture. Yeah, they asked me if they were allowed to use my picture for this card, and I said, sure, why not? Um, so that's one of my thumbnails, is that little faded out picture. Obviously, when I took it, it wasn't that dark, but they had to put the Idobao logo on it. You get the point. You get the point. Okay, thank you. So, now... They've sent these, which are some type of keycap. Uh, they don't appear to be the highest of quality. It says on here OEM 104. So I imagine this is just a standard 104 set of OEM keycaps. It looks to be a gradient though. So let me just take these out and see what's going on here. Now, the value of these is unknown. I'm gonna assume that these are the $30 mystery boxes. So I'm gonna assume this is what you would get for $30 if you were a content creator and they might have. Um, anyways. Oh, my dryer is done. I don't know if you guys can hear that little chime. Huh. OEM profile is not too bad if you run uh, 
north facing LED boards. This is a gradient set. As you can see, it, it's lighter on top and then darker on the bottom. It's got front printing that's like incredibly gamer. Just so, that's so gamer. Um, your washer does that? That's crazy that we both have washers. Now, I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I don't think I'm gonna use this set. Um, I'm gonna keep this sealed for now because it doesn't have a resealable bit to it. But if we end up building, my goal here is to get everything to build a keyboard from these mystery boxes. So if I get everything required to build a keyboard, I'll open up some keycaps and I will build a keyboard. Yeah, here, maybe just, um, let me, let me just get this in. So my goal here with these mystery boxes is to build a whole entire keyboard. But do we think we're going to get keycaps, switches, and a keyboard? Probably not. There's some YouTuber voice for you. Okay, actually, hold on. Is this a, a Howdy Hey novelty? Is this limited edition Howdy Hey novelty? No, this is actually just something that they put on here. This is not Hippiotech merch. But would you guys like a Howdy Hey novelty? Maybe? Maybe I should make one of those in, in person? Should I make Howdy Hey merch? You guys want Howdy Hey? Ooh, this is an aluminum keycap. We've got an aluminum keycap that just says W. W. Guys, what did we get today? W. Ew, hair. W. Hey guys, do you want to get a W? Well, I would like to get 500,000 subscribers by the end of the year. So please hit subscribe so I can hit 500,000 subscribers as odds are 83% of you aren't subscribed and that is what we call not a W. Oh gosh, it literally won't focus on the W. There we go. That is not a W. Please. There we go. Okay, you can stop spamming W, please. That's kind of cringe. You could you could put it in once, you know. What we do here is we put in when we want to spam, we just we actually just put one message instead of the whole spam. We let the chat hive mind it. Um, so yeah, anyways. <laughs> the cameraman said L plus plus ratio. Yeah, so we've got a metal keycap, which is kinda cool. I don't think I can build a keyboard with metal keycap. And actually, looking here. We've got <laughs> probably not enough switches to build a keyboard. Should we count these out? I'm guessing this is maybe 20 to 30. Which is not enough switches to build a keyboard. Let's count. I'm very curious now. And I also want to see what types of switches these are. Oh. Oh my, so they're Gaterons. They're Gateron switches. Now, in this little bag, we have some Gateron switches, and they are incredibly scratchy. Um, remarkably scratchy, just based on feel. Now, do they sound bad? I, they have a lot of ping in them. In fact, they've got more ping than somebody losing in League of Legends. Three, four, five... Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's twenty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, oh, seven, eight, nine, ten, thirty, three. Six, nine, ten. That is 42. 42 switches. Okay. So we have 42 switches. Um, unless I miscounted. Um, which is enough for a 40%. I think. Is that enough for a 40%? Um... Now, this is making me think that they might have actually not cherry-picked this box just for me. 
Um, bruh. Which is cool. Creed, howdy, hey. Do you like the iQnix OG80 wormhole wireless keyboard? The spacebar sounds great. I have it and recommend getting it. Is that the gray one? Um, I, I haven't tried it yet, but I think they're sending it to me. Okay, and then we've got this, which appears to be a keycap set. Okay. Now, let's check this out. So, this is a box that says, oh, howdy, hey, slothy. Love ya. Oh, that is so sweet. Thank you so much for the donation for the super chat. I appreciate ya. Okay. It says ID BKC 107FN. Ah, cutie. Howdy, hey. 40% are a struggle to use, but it's a fun challenge if you want a smaller board. Nine months a member. That's awesome. Yeah, 40% are hard for me. Ooh, okay. Hold on. So we're thinking value-wise, we spent, well, theoretically, somebody spent 30 bucks on this, right? And so far they've gotten one cheap, like $10 keycap set, a metal novelty keycap, maybe 10 bucks, um, a howdy hey keycap, and count them, 42 switches. So there's your update, there's your recap. Now we've got these keycaps left, which could be the saving redeemer of this whole entire. Wait, wait, are these the? They're the Josie keycaps. They're the Josie keycaps. Oh my God, they're the Josie keycaps. Guys, the bees. Bees! No way! They made the Josie keycaps for real in Minecraft? No way, guys! Okay, well, I mean, for these alone, the milk and honey keycap set is like 24, 25 bucks, so like, that's, that's okay. The freaking bees! That's a W. That's a dub. It's bean fulfilled. Bean. Oh man. So for those of you that are wondering what the hell are Josie keycaps, what is this crazy man going on about? Um, so one of my most popular videos ever is with Josie, a uh, quite, quite good friend of the channel, uh, one could say. Uh, these were the keycaps she used on her <laughs> Josie's hippie's friend. These are the keycaps she used on her board. Um, ooh, look at that sweaty, steamy handprint. Wow. How did... Is it that humid? Oof. Look at that. Jeez, okay. Um, she picked out these keycaps for her board because her favorite color is yellow, and they're kind of yellowish. They look more orange on my camera, but I can tell you they're, they're like a yellow-orange. Um, a donation. Hold on. Was there a donation? I didn't see it yet. It might take a second to come through. Um, but yeah, these are a sick keycap set. They are XDA profile, I think, right? Yeah, they're XDA profile. They are incredibly thawky uh, for being such short profile keycaps. So yeah, it's a mustardy yellow. Um, and I really like them. Hold on, let me look at the donation. Oh yeah, GOM. GOM Todwin, howdy hey. Gonna build my first keyboard because of you. Love the videos. Thank you so much. I'm sorry I missed your donation. Howdy, hey. It's great to have you here. But, yeah. There you go. Check these out. Those are nice. So, I would say these redeemed this mystery box. But were they... Were they... But were they hand selected because they know about the Josie video? Is that, that's too coincidental, right? There's no way. There's no possible way that they're like Hippio's most popular video on his front page involves these keycaps. We need to send him these keycaps. There's no way we need to investigate further. That's, 
coincidence, right? Okay, Bruh. let me... I need to turn on anti-spam mode. Oh, Gom, there's your donation. Thank you so much. Perfect. I'm turning on anti-spam. Only subscribers can chat. Slow mode. Three seconds. Sorry. You guys lost your chat privileges. Anti-spam mode activated. You have to be a subscriber now to chat. So, uh, if you've subscribed, that's freaking cool of you. Thank you so much for subscribing. Anyways, let me get some actual, like, shots of these keycaps real fast. Um, these appear to be exactly the same as the ones from the Josie video. Same type of, like, OEM vibe going on. So that's cool. Imagine not being subscribed. I know, cringe, right? Cringe. They've got the same little novelties. Oops. These are very nice. Super nostalgic. That was a, more than a year ago that we made that keyboard. Isn't that crazy? I haven't had a video that popular in a year. Hippiotech channel dying, gone wrong. Okay. Oh, Richard Beans is in the chat. Howdy. Hey, long time no see. Now I need Josie to join the stream. Yeah, we need Josie to join the stream. Shout out Josie. Lady Trousers on Instagram. Okay, there we go. Perfect. I thought subscriber only meant I had to join the watering hole gang. No, but if the chat gets out of hand enough, I will do that. Howdy heyo. Okay, so, recap. From the first box, we got B keycaps. We got hand. We got 42 switches. And we got metal W key. And a very, very cheap keycap set of probably double shot. Uh, ABS is what it looks like. There we go. That's the first mystery box. Let's set this to the side. I'll need to do some B-roll of that later. And now before the second mystery box, I'm going to eat a little snack. Yeah, and if that goes wrong, chat is forever gone. Why 42? I don't know, Richard. I gotta be honest, I don't know. I really don't. 42. Well. It's a good number. Hmm. Slothy. Howdy, hey. I plan to go to Singapore and spam call you on Lewis's Discord. JK, by the way. Thanks, I Bruh. guess. Fim, howdy, hey. Great to see you in another stream. The answer to life, universe, and everything. Yeah. So that, that's like Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy or whatever. Are those all the $30 boxes? I assume so. I was not told. Am I the longest member? George, how long have you been a member for? I... You've got the six month badge. Do you have the, um, do the like membership uh, thing? The, the membership reminder thing. Oh, there we go. One year, five months. One year, five months, that's 17. Almost. I think I've got an 18 month member. I think I've got an 18, a couple 18 month members that have stuck around. But George, you're like basically one of the OGs. You are the OG actually. Since when do you go live? I've been live for 44 minutes now. I'm eating some gluten free crackers. Would you like to see? Here they are. Gluten free crackers. Um. How much did your personal keyboard cost? It's two keyboards Frankenstein together with keycaps that probably cost me two years of my life. I'm gonna die sooner. Thanks for the great content. Hey, that's the least I can do. 
No knob? No. So actually what I do is I've got this guy over here. Um, I use a little macro pad at the corner of my desk that's off camera. Um, and I've got my, this is my back button for audio, my forward button for audio, the pause, get it? Cause it's a hippo paw. And then the mute because, oh sheesh, panic mute. And then volume knob. Shout out Polycaps Hippo. It's my keycap set, link in the description. Come on. I need to plug it back in though. Please? It's really hard to plug in. Cause it's, there we go. We did it. That was mine, don't worry. What do you mean two fr keyboards Frankenstein together? Um, I've got a video on this board. And it's like, why does everyone want Thok or something like that? I can't remember the exact name. But it's on my build process for this. Basically, I was trying to get the deepest sounding keyboard possible. Like, proper old school definition of Thok. Because Thok was kind of invented to describe like Topra boards. And the electric capacitive, like super deep, deep, deep sounds. Not just any keyboard that sounds good. <sighs> um which, you know, YouTubers are responsible for. Uh, um, anyways, <laughs> um, so it's two keyboards Frankenstein together in a very crazy way. Remember for one year, five months, 12 days. Sheesh, E1. Sheesh. Wow. Anyways, we've got another mystery box to open. And in fact, I need to do a B-roll of this mystery box um, just in case they like change the look of it on me. So let me do a quick little B-roll of this guy. Just a quick little B-roll. I'm just sitting here off camera getting some B-roll. Don't mind me. You both have me beat by two months. Frick. Frick. Wow. I think E1 might actually be in the group of longest, right? Oh, no. Oh, yeah. I'm Same, same amount as George. Wow. Packaging is nice just for being an anniversary mystery box. That's kind of cool. Like, it's a good touch. They're not just randomly sending out garbage and calling it a mystery box. Like, it is very clearly a box that they specially branded as mystery boxes, which is cool. As member 24. Oh yeah. <laughs> Both had the same idea. Ha, ah, let me support this hippio tech guy. Uh, what's the butt look like? Nothing. Okay. Oh, my back. All right. Oh, you can see the other ones on the floor. That's so messy. Any Idabao discount code? No. I tried to get a discount code for this, but they're, apparently their discounts are too high to give out further discount codes, which is fair. Some of their discounts are pretty crazy. Um, you can check out their sale in the link down below. Uh, please do check it out. I was the original Ido Bao Shill back when nobody else was. OG Ido Bao Shill Hippio Tech. I still shill Ido Bao, honestly. Like, there's stuff that's starting to get better than them, but they have such a special place in my heart that it's hard to give them up, you know? It's your first love. First love Ido Bao. My first custom, you know? Anyways, let's get this open. Oh! Disastertron, howdy hey, thank you so much for the raid. It's nice to have some Twitch spam instead of just YouTube spam. That's so sweet of you. Howdy hey everyone, welcome to the stream. We're opening a little Idabao box. I hope you're doing well. So what comes in this box? It's random um, and that's where I'm really skeptical of it. Um, I've talked about most of my skepticalness previous in the stream. This one is also sealed as well we have not tampered with this 
Thank you so much for the raid. Howdy, hey, welcome. Sandy sent us. Thank you, Sandy. So sweet of you. Boom. Cut it open. Did you combine Twitch chat and YouTube chat for the overlay? Yeah. All right. Which box is that one that you're holding? Um, they're, I'm assuming they're both the 30. I'm assuming. We're, we're opening a mystery box. It's a mystery. It says a give back to all your support. Ida Bao brand anniversary. It's a brand anniversary. And they're doing a big sale. Uh, and that's what's going on with that. So I'm assuming it's 30 bucks. I'm just assuming they sent me the most expensive one. Okay, anyways. Hopefully, there's a keyboard in here. Hopefully. I need there to be a keyboard in here for me to build a keyboard on the stream. So, if not, then we're SOL. No keyboard build. Sad, sad did you. Okay, anyways. We're faced with the same note. Oh, hold on. I see something out of the corner of my eye. Stream crash? No. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Why can't I see everybody spamming F then? F? What do you mean? Okay, anyways. We're faced with the same note. Oh, hold on. Oh, is it crashed? It's back, but kind of choppy. Are y'all able to see me? I don't want to get too far. Everybody give it a refresh. Give it a refresh. It does not appear to be on my end. Uh, it's not my end. All right. We're still recording. Still recording. Okay, it's working fine now. Great, thank you so much. Welcome back, you guys. Uh, so, we've got a note. We've got a special note. Lag again? No. In this special note, it's got gold trim. What's on this one? Oh, that tore open in the least satisfying way possible. Oh! Thank you. A give back to all your support. Ida Bao brand anniversary. Same thing as before. Okay. Cool. Um, would you suggest an Ida Bao mystery box as a cheap way to get into custom keeps, or would it better to save and know what I get? Um, so this is where I, I say... Do not get a mystery box expecting a keyboard or anything. Um, that's why I personally recommend you shop their brand anniversary sale. Get a keyboard that you know you're going to want for the best possible price you're going to get it at. Don't buy a mystery box. I think the mystery box idea is cool, but I just it's gambling and I can't really recommend that. Like if you've got 30 bucks that you want to throw away and guarantee that you know, you'd throw it away anyways. Like, maybe how you would donate to a, a streamer by hitting the donate button. How you would throw away your money just by hitting that little dollar sign and maybe joining the watering hole gang. Like, if you were going to do, like, that with your money, then maybe buy a mystery box, right? But, like, I, 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 it's fun for a stream. It's really cool and fun for a stream. But, like, yeah. Anyways. I see something here that says prohibit violent installation of switches notes on switch plug-in replacement regular switch body and pin can be plug in and out easily no need to force in so we're not going to be forcing in switches here wait forcing in switches does that mean they gave me a keyboard does that mean they gave me a keyboard <laughs> Unless they just gave me this to put up on my wall like a poster. Hold on. Hold on. 
Dear customers, you are welcome to join Discord where you get more like-minded friends and you will receive more news about the product. QMK firmware programming files can also be obtained in it. Hurry up and join. You guys heard it here? Join their Discord server. A-P-F-P-N-M-T. Um, the link is also on their website, which is linked down below. Um, so you can join their Discord server if you'd like. Uh, honestly, I do recommend the Idabao Discord server. It's like my first keyboard community that I joined. They were the people that watched my very first keyboard video and told me that they liked it enough that I made a second keyboard video. So I can kind of base the origin of the Hippiotech YouTube channel to the Idabao Discord. Maybe I'm just the ultimate shill. Oh! E1 donated $30 through Super Chat. Give me a mystery Hippio surprise. A mystery Hippio surprise. What do I have that I can surprise you with? Okay. A mystery Hippio surprise. Um, For you specifically, E1. Thank you so much. I've got something that only you will probably appreciate. One sec. This isn't for you, but like, you'll appreciate it. It's a teaser at a future video just for you. Okay, so teaser for a future video just for E1. Everyone else, hey, everyone else that's watching the stream right now, please um, close your eyes, all right? Close your eyes and close your ears. This is just for E1 for donating $30. This is not for you to watch, actually, so please stop. Okay, um, this is just for E1. So Apos Audio reached out, and they sent me a ton of stuff, um, some headphones, and uh, an app and a DAC and other audiophile equipment. And I'm going to be attempting to delve into the world of audio fidelity. And I'm going to get some help in that. Lamau, they sent you a Caspian. Yeah, is that bad? Is it bad? Is it good? Who knows? We're going to find out in a future video. Anyways. This is getting a little Fifty Shades in here. <laughs> okay, everyone else can open their eyes now. All right, that was just between E1 and I. All right, you can open your eyes, you can open your ears. Wait, if you can't hear me if your ears are closed. Oh no. Okay. There we go, all right. Down the audio file rabbit hole we go. Woo! Guys, you can open your ears. Somebody tell chat that they can open their ears. Anyways. We've got a set of keycaps here that makes me a little bit depressed because looking at these and looking at the previous fact that I got 42 switches and looking at what's in front of me that I haven't shown you yet, this has definitely been handpicked. This mystery box has been handpicked for me. There's not a chance that it hasn't. Okay. Okay. Um, they gave me a screwdriver. Note, um, anytime you receive a screwdriver, I don't recommend shoving it up your butt. That's just a hippio tech tip. Um, if you get a screwdriver, don't shove it up your butt. Um, actually, about Critical, I know a lot of you really love Critical. I'm going to try and get his help for audiophile content that I make uh, because I know literally nothing about audio. Um, I can't be an authority on audio <laughs> at all. I could just be an impartial subjective person. Uh, so hopefully I can get his help on some of that. Anyways, Hippio Tech Tip, don't shove screwdrivers up your butt. Thank you so much. And now we've got this thing in front of me, uh, which is bubble wrap. That's great of them to include bubble wrap. Um, free modding material for any of your keyboards, which is pretty great. So that's cool. Okay, okay, yeah. They sent me a keyboard. Now, what makes me think that this was picked out specifically for me, number one, it's a 40%, um, which they've tried to get me to review in the past, um, and I've said no, and maybe this was their way of getting me to get try out their 40%. <laughs> Uh, number two, it's like Hippio Purple. It's kind of Hippio Purple. 
So like that's kind of sus, right? They wouldn't send me a cute purple petite little baby boy of a board on accident, right? And purple keycaps. Wait, it's all coming together. Oh, it's all coming together. This is an inside job. Okay. So this is a 40% keyboard. Um, I'm not sure exactly what it is yet. If you're watching this as a VOD, I'll put it up on the screen. It's an Idobao 40% keyboard, so it's probably the Idobao 42 or ID42 or something like that. Um, it's got stabilizers pre-installed, which we're going to need to probably take out their plate mount stabilizers. We'll probably need to lube them. So for those of you watching live, you get a bonus build. Yeah. Woo, bonus build. Let's go. Now, what makes this unique is that it is a 40% that's got no number row. No number row. Why? 40% gang. Why? What's going on? Who hurts you guys? What's... I know you guys are a really easy target in the keyboard community, but like, who hurt you? I appreciate you guys' creativity. But like, why? Um, now, this board does appear to be hot swap, so that is a pro. That is a pro. We will not be soldering this board. It also appears to have south-facing LEDs, which is really cool. Um, and five-pin switch support. And a slightly... Ooh. Pingy case. Which we'll fix. Now, do I build... Here's the question for chat. Do I build this out as a normal keyboard and just like make it cute or whatever? Um, or do I use everything that they sent me? Make this a proper mystery box. Like, do I use the 42 switches they sent me? Do I use the 42 switches they sent me? These guys? Like, I feel like I kind of have to, right? Maybe. They're definitely cringe and very pingy. All right, chat's saying yes. Okay, okay, okay. So first things first, let me just plug this in and make sure that it turns on. And then I will be building a keyboard entirely from a mystery box. That's an interesting, tw oh. Is it just red? Why is it just red? Hold on, let me see if this thing has via support. Oh gosh. Ah! 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 <sighs> Sorry, that was like overtaking me. Jeez. Oh. That was rough. I'll figure out the LEDs in a bit to see if I can make these anything but red. That is so red. All right. Now it looks like in here we actually did get a cable and everything. And then they did give us a keycap set that I glanced over that's meant for 40%. So that's kind of cool. Discord red mode. You ever get Discord red mode? Okay, you know what? Check, before I build this keyboard, I'm gonna order some boba, okay? Before I build this keyboard, I'm gonna order some boba. Why? Because I like spending $24 on boba. 
and I have a severe problem. Literally all I do is spend $24 on boba. All the time. Is there a problem with that? Yes. Do I acknowledge it? Yes. Do I continue to do it? Yes. Uh, so by watching this stream, you're actually supporting my boba addiction. Um, love ya. Appreciate ya. Just drink water? I drink a lot of water. I do. And I try and order boba, like, I don't know, like twice a month. But, uh, wh what can I say? I ordered it. Boba's ordered. I'll go over my boba order once it gets here. Um, now, first things first. Actually, I don't think I want to take it apart first. I think I want to lube the stabs first. I'm going to lube the stabs. Let's do it. So let's see what type of keyboard I can build with just a mystery box. Well, two mystery boxes, actually. I see somebody said not worth it. And like, I couldn't agree more. Like, it's definitely not. Are these not gonna come up? The boba, that is. What? There we go. So I'm popping up these stabilizers. Sorry, my lighting is really bad. Hey Google, set my overhead lights to 100%. Hey Google, set my office to 100. I'll just turn every light to 100. And then, oh, hey Google, set corner to 30. I'm sorry everyone with a, with a Google home. There we go. I think my lighting just got a little bit better, right? The, yeah, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Forgive me. I'm popping up the stabilizers so I can lube them. There we go. We, we've we got to lube these stabilizers. Actually? Oh yeah, they're so bad. They're so bad. I can't not lube these. That would actually be a war crime. Hold on. Okay. There we go. I've got a paper towel out. There we go. And then let me fix my white balance real fast. Holy mod? That is too much effort. Way too much effort. Hey Google, set my office to 3000 Kelvin. Did I do that right? What? It can't control Kelvin? How could you? How could you? All right, well, saved. Okay. And then I, I lubed the stabs. There we go. I could abuse everybody's trust right now. I could tell all of you to go follow Kadeli on Spotify with your little Google Homes or Alexas. Alexa, play Kadeli. Alexa, play Wake Up by Kadeli. <laughs> Bigsby, <laughs> play Wake Up by Kadeli. <laughs> Does anybody have Bigsby? All two of you right now are like freaking out. All the Bigsby users are like, <gasps> how did he know? How did he know I use Bigsby? Freaking out. Waking right now. <laughs> Please stop. Headphone users be like, I'm vibing. Every headphone user be like, hmm, yes, I am getting trolled. <laughs> Phone came with Bigsby and I was like, nope, yeah. I don't think anybody actually uses Bigsby, right? Even Samsung. I got a new Samsung TV and the TV was like, do you want to use Google Assistant or Alexa or Bigsby? And I was like, yeah, you learned your place. 
Like, nobody's out here like, oh, I love Bigsby. <laughs> not, not one. Not one person. Okay, so if you're just tuning in and you have no idea what I'm doing and you're just watching because you thought a keyboard mystery box sounds interesting, I am lubing stabilizers. Now, if you press down your space bar key or your enter key and it sounds really rattly, it's probably because there's no lube on your stabilizers. Now, that is what my goal is here. I'm going to lube these up. I'm using a lubricant, not an adult lubricant. Uh, it is a specific like industrial grade lubricant, Crytox 205G0. Um, if you're shopping for Crytox 205G0, you can get some off of uh, Heebs for All. You can use code HIPPIO to save 5%. So that would be pretty cool. You can also get some from Kinetic Labs. I'm also clipping the little tiny legs off of these stabilizers. So you might notice that there's little, little tiny baby legs on these stabilizers. I'm gonna clip these off because they're gonna make some rattling and we don't want those. So I'm clipping them off. There we go. So just clipping them right off. I'm saying, see you later. So thankfully this board only has two stabilizers. So that's really easy for me. That is not a lot of effort to clip all these stabilizers and lube all these stabilizers. Maybe 40% they, they had a point this whole time because lubing stabilizers is like my least favorite part of every keyboard build. Even after I've optimized my process. I see a lot of people asking for specific keyboard uh, build videos. I'm gonna be honest with you. Um, like, I, I do appreciate when you guys ask, but generally, the answer is gonna be no. Um, mostly because the only time I'll ever do a keyboard that's like requested is if it's like disturbingly requested, like the QK65, for example. Other than that, if it's just a couple people asking for it, I'd love to help everyone out with their keyboards and the keyboards they want to see. I just don't have the time. It takes like a full week or two weeks per keyboard. There's too many keyboards in the world. But yeah. Uh, I'd, I'd like to, but I just can't. It's like how you can't hug every cat in the world. You can't review every keyboard. I'm just one man. Bruh, my Alexa triggered. Yeah. Yeah. But did they actually start playing Kadeli on Spotify? I doubt it. I doubt it. I wish it did, though. Or Amazon Music. You've wasted so much of my money. Hey, listen. Listen. It was you that wasted it. I just helped. I've already built a Freebird TKL on a YouTube video. I want to hug every cat in the world now? Yeah. I want a cat so bad. When I get a cat, do you guys want Hippiotech cat content vlogs? Like, should I make cat vlogs? Would you guys care about that at all? Do you want to see Hippiotech cat content? Would you click on it? How do I even make a thumbnail involving a cat that you guys would click on? Yes? Okay. I just found about your channel two days ago and I'm hooked right now. Well, welcome. Welcome to the live stream. It's so great to have you here. Get a ragdoll cat. They're cute. So I'm allergic. So if I get a cat, it's going to be like a Cornish Rex or a Devon Rex. Um, something allergy friendly. Um, but I've been trying to get one for, for a long time now. If you guys know anyone that has Cornish Rex kittens in Washington state, let me know, uh, DM me on Instagram. I've been searching. There's none in Washington state. I'm probably going to have to go to like North Carolina or something for a cat, which I'll do, but it's kind of sad. 
call it hippo. No. I'm not gonna call it hippo. I am hippo. I don't need to call my cat hippo. I wish you weren't allergic to cats. Me too. Cat decides what keyboard I should buy. That would be kind of fun. I put a bunch of treats on like different switches and like keyboards and my cat just picks the one by like walking over and eating the treat. Call the cat tech. Okay. How is a cat a fan of me? How does that even happen? Does your cat watch Hippio Tech? Does it go like meow meow meow? I'm a little bit confused, not gonna lie. Okay, why is this stabilizer bit not going in? Okay, is that, did that work? That works. That still feels so scratchy though. Oh man, I think these are just incredibly scratchy stabilizers. As a hippo, do you think you can beat a polar bear? Yeah, so you know when I stream and my shirt is really tattered up? That's because I frequently fight polar bears, actually. Um, it's a little known secret that uh, polar bears actually invented Coca-Cola. And as a water drinker, an avid water drinker, um, kind of at war with uh, polar bears for did that whole Coca-Cola thing. Yeah. So, I end up fighting polar bears every every second Sunday. Jeez, these stabilizers suck. Or is it me that sucks? No, it's the stabilizers. Oh gosh. This is pretty bad. Are these even gonna work? I don't know. Got lube all over my hands. Meowdy hay. I like that one. I like meowdy hay. I really shouldn't lube stabilizers on stream. I lose like 200 viewers every time I do it. People think it's really lame. Probably the worst part of all keyboard content is stabilizers. And lube all over your hands. Why did that one go in so much easier? Oh, because it's not actually in. Nice. There we go. I love doing stabs. What? How do you love doing stabs? Like, what do you like about it? You get lube all over your hands. It's like messy. It's messy. Um, it's messy. You know? Are Amazon lubes good? Uh, there's a lot of different lubes on Amazon. That is an open question. It's a very open question. Okay. I think I did it. I think the stabilizers have been looped. It's not as repetitive as looping switches. Interesting. To me, it's like just as boring. Don't recommend AliExpress lube? Yeah, that sounds sus. That's like how some people get uh, adult products off AliExpress. That's just sus. You don't want that. Okay, so I'm putting the stabilizers in. Um, like so. Come on. There we go. Click in, click in. We'll test the switches in a minute and see if I messed up. But it's just two stabilizers, so shouldn't shouldn't be a big deal. These should work decent enough. They might tick. Where would you get your adult products from then? I can't give a recommendation on stream. 
but support local businesses, you know? Anyways. E1's kind of sus. That's why we like him, though. All right. So. <clears throat> As we mentioned previously, Idobao sent us 42 switches for no particular reason. Just so happens that this board fits 42 switches. Totally not sus at all. Now, these switches are probably, like, maybe the worst switches we could have gotten. Um... I'd wager to say they're some of the worst switches we could have gotten. <clears throat> now, okay. In order to not ruin a hot swap socket, I'm going to take the back off and support my, sw my sockets from the back. So in order to take the back off, we're going to use the handy dandy included screwdriver. Um... Yep, no wow stick today. Uh, why? Because these screws strip disturbingly easy. Um, and with these Idobel boards, I have stripped quite a few screws. So I'm just being cautious here. Okay, can you focus on the, on the board, please? Could you focus on the board, please? Oh my gosh, it's chasing focus on my hand. Stop! What is it doing? Ah, no lubing switches? No. I'm going to I'm going to go with what this uh what I got from the mystery box. If it sounds bad, it sounds bad. This is kind of to prove my point that you shouldn't just like buy a mystery box expecting to get a keyboard uh and a full build. Like I'm going to guess this probably won't sound that great. Um, yeah. Okay, anyways. We've got her open. As you can see, in classic Idobao fashion, there's a brilliant amount of dead space in this keyboard, um, which we'll fix. Don't worry, we'll fix it. Um, but in order to put in the switches... I am going to be supporting them from the back, as all things should be supported from the back when hitting them from the front, you know. Um, it does look like this board does have plate foam pre-installed, though. Hard to see, but there is foam between the plate and PCB pre-installed. That came with it. There was not any foam in the back, though. Anyways. I'm going to plop these switches in. These are Gateron switches. Um... They appear to be a linear of maybe a speed linear of some kind based on feel. Oh, I don't know why the exclamation point build says ceramic keycaps. Oops. Nightbot is drunk. Um, but also, some of these pins, some of these pins are decently bent. Now, if you put in a switch with bent pins, they're going to get more bent. So keep an eye out for that. Potentially, they could force a socket out. Maybe don't put a switch in with bent pins. Anyways, I'm going to support the switches from the back. Make sure I don't pop out a socket. Because um, I don't really feel like breaking out my soldering iron today. There we go. Breaking out a soldering iron sounds... Fun int. In fact, my soldering iron is in a box somewhere. And I don't really know where. <laughs> I still don't have any shelves in my uh, storage space. So all of my spare keyboards are still in boxes. Basically. Like, except for what you see behind me. And except for what's right over there that's it every other keyboard is in boxes I love soldering Anderson I appreciate you for being the contrarian of the chat <laughs> oh man you're unique to say the least 
<laughs> the reason why Hippio is supporting the hot swap sockets is because back when he only had $20 to mod the WK61, one of the sockets popped out. I've actually had quite a few sockets pop out on me. Um, usually on cheaper boards, but... Like, it's good practice that if it's your only board, and you don't have a soldering iron, you should just support it from the back when you put the switches in. It's an extra maybe like five minutes of effort to ensure that you don't have to fix your board with solder. Desoldering gun. I want one of those. But also, I just don't mess around with solder at all. I am very sensitive with my respiratory system. And uh, I kind of would like to stay away from that. Honestly. Oh yeah, let me just do a little bit of magic. Oh man, it didn't work. That's so weird, huh? That's so crazy how it didn't work. Magic is dead, and I killed him. Oh. Oh. How about optical switches? They're cool. I think optical switches are pretty pog, but I, I wish the um, optical was more widely available as a format. I'm extremely sensitive with my respiratory system. That's why I'm vaping as I wash this. Yeah, don't vape with a sensitive respiratory system. That is not what we call poggers champion. Just wear a gas mask when you have to solder. Yeah, because that's comfortable. That's something I want to do every day. Yeah, so I'm actually doing magic 42 times as I put in each switch. Magic 1. Magic 2. Magic 3. <sighs> I'm getting sleepy. Hippio did get an abacus. Yeah, somebody predicted that earlier in the stream. I have a feeling a lot of people will be getting them if they order mystery boxes and get a keyboard. It's probably going to be one of these. I don't know why they would give away Idabow ID80s for like 30 bucks. That wouldn't make sense. Just don't breathe while you solder. Good idea. Just die while you solder. Okay. Let's do this. Bing bong. And bing bong. And then two switches left. Yeah, ironically getting 42 switches. Kinda sus. I mean, welcomed, but kinda sus. Okay. So, now we've got the 42 switches in, and I can put the keycaps on immediately, which I'll probably do actually. Yeah, that's actually probably what I'm going to do. So, these keycaps also came in the mystery box, and uh, they seem to be like a flatter XDA profile. Now, <clears throat> I'm not going to use the B keycaps, because I want to use those in a different build, and they're a full set, and this is like specifically a 40s kit. So... I'm just gonna magic. Gengar, howdy, hey. What are the switches? I don't know. They came in the mystery box. Uh, they're, they're a Gateron switch. Some type of speed switch, it seems. A linear. So, I'm going to pop this open. There we go. Oh. 42 more magics. I think the worst part of this is the backspace is one U. I think this is just not going to sound that great. Gather on clears? Are they gather on clears? Is that a thing? Oh man. <laughs> it literally says BS, yeah. Oh, that's not very good. Ah, uh, I don't think these uh, switches are the play. 
Oof. Modding with foam today. I do believe that is going to be the only way we make this sound decent. I don't know if there's any other solution. Oh, look at my nice leg right there. Yep. This is my comfortable posture. We're getting comfy with you guys. All right. Second row. If anything, this is a quick build. Oh, man. Alright. A S Hmm. Hippio Harry? Yeah, hippos are hairy, you didn't know that? You know about the hairy hippos? Hairy hairy hippos. We love that. Oh sushi, howdy hey. It's great to see ya. I saw you uploaded a keyboard video the other day. That was kind of nice. Uh, very good work. The B-roll was very pleasing. Just like the outside shots. Also, thanks for the five. I should become a music, a musician, a magician. Hey, you should become a musician. Have you considered making music? You have a good voice, Hippio. That would be pretty cool. Bruh! Thank you. Hey, maybe you should become a musician, Hippie. Wait. There we go. Bruh! My friend spent $1,800 on a Jelly Epoch with Ink Blacks. To each their own, but dang, that is a lot. Sheesh. Holy. You should start a podcast. I don't know. Talking for long periods of time hurts my throat. I don't know if I could do that. What mouse do you use? Logitech G502 Lightspeed. Howdy, hey, big gamer boy. Are you a hippo or a person? Why not both? Why can't I be both? Here's my little space bar. Ooh, I over that one a little bit. Is that backwards? No, it just feels really awkward. Interesting. I like your song. Thank you. I appreciate it. Share it with your friends. Okay, well, um, we built a keyboard. Here is it compared to my uh, hairy knee. Um, one knee versus one keyboard. It's about one, one quad length, actually. So that's pretty good. Um, that ain't bad at all. Hippo, do you like jazz? Yeah, I like jazz. Jazz is good. I don't listen to jazz a lot, except when I'm streaming, but it's not bad. We like the jazz. So here you go. Um, it's cute. I mean, it's small and it's cute. I have a feeling this is gonna sound really bad. Let me just give it a quick little like, bing bong, real fast. Here's a quick little bing bong uh, sound test of it. Okay. Oh, let me turn off my fan. There we go. A little bit less background noise. That's a rough layout to type on. It also does not sound too good with the uh, super pingy uh, switches. So 
Uh, let's attempt to make it sound a little bit better. So like, I can't make the switches not ping. That's literally impossible. But I could at least put some tape on it. And I'll do that. I'll put some tape on it. And hopefully that will uh, help a little bit. This is the classic Hippiotech, uh, not actually Hippiotech, like the Tempest tape mod, but Hippiotech does it like every video, so. It just helps a lot. Tape fixes everything except spring ping. You can't fix that. How much is that board? I have no idea. No idea. Okay. I'm just gonna put maybe like two layers. Could be fun. Board is 175? Are you serious? No. No, you're trolling. You're trolling. There's no way this board is 175. Right? That doesn't make sense. I don't recommend using duct tape. Duct tape leaves a residue. 115 on sale. Okay. I mean... I don't know, like 40%. Uh, but it's kind of cool, I guess. Abacus is 115, okay. So this keyboard is worth 115 bucks. And we got it for 30, kind of. I say it's maybe worth like 50 bucks. But we're doing some tape mod. It's just so small. But, oh, 125 for the color you have. Interesting. Yeah, I just find 40% to be remarkably impractical. But, that's just me. That's subjective. That's the thing about the keyboard hobby. It's preference. It's preference. 50 bucks for an alu keyboard? Yeah, I, I, I don't know. Look at it. It's so tiny. It's so small. Uh, they should pay you to use it. That's what they should do. They should pay you to use it. I'll buy that Mercutio from you. I do need to sell that at some point. I paid way too much for it. Unfortunately. I wonder if I could just, hold on, let me just do this. I'm putting tape on the connection point between each bit of metal. Uh, for those of you wondering what I'm doing next, the reason why I'm doing this is a little bit less metal on metal contact is always good. We don't like metal on metal here. Okay, there we go. Put it on the other side, it would be easier. That's true, but we're, uh, you know, we're doing this way. We're doing it this way. No one ever says Hippiotech was efficient. Except me, I guess. <laughs> there we go. Now just one more bit of tape. What switches do you recommend and there's no limit? Nintendo Switch. 
Nintendo Switch. Definitely one of the top 10 Switches I would recommend personally. Okay. Anyways. So we've got that done. Um, for good old fashioned nostalgia purposes, since we're being nostalgic and we're talking about Ido Bao and my my inception as a creator through Ido Bao content, and it's the Ido Bao brand anniversary sale. I'm gonna be doing my very first mod ever from my very first keyboard video ever, which is cutting up some Idobao PE foam and putting it in a board. So we're doing our very first mod, the first thing. Anyways, that's what we're gonna do. Oh yeah. So I'm just gonna cut it up. It doesn't need to be even. I don't think it needs to be even, because it's sure not gonna be even. Cries in nostalgia. Literally leave a cry if you like nostalgia. Leave a cry right now if you like nostalgia. Okay. There we go. So I, it's nothing crazy. I'm just putting some of this foam in. I'm also gonna cut one more layer just for the top. Maybe like yay thick. I, I'm not cutting evenly. I, I'm not an even cutter. Oh well. There we go. Why don't you use an exacto knife or something? I'm not exact. Anyways, I'm gonna plop these in. So as you can see, there's a little bit of tape that's just like kind of hanging out here. I don't care. Um, so yeah, the tape's gonna be vibing out and then we're just gonna screw this back in. Wait, is that backwards? That's backwards. Right? No, that's not backwards. That's correct. Because that's the top of the board. Yep. Interesting. Now, this isn't going to save the switches. The switches are still going to be pretty not so good. I don't think there's any way around that. Wait, unless? Is that that? Hold on. Hold on. Wasn't there supposed to be feet cutouts here? Hold on. Hold on. Yo, say hi to the fun group chat. Howdy, hey. Oh yeah, okay, it was backwards. It was backwards. It was backwards. My instincts kicked in. Okay, there we go. That's okay. We're good. Everybody can calm down. That was freaking out. I know you were freaking out about it being backwards. It's fine. We're good. Somebody said no wow stick, and yeah, it's because... These strip so easy, these screws. I don't want to strip them. Boba check. Oh, good idea. Where's my boba? Hold on. Oh. Hold on. Has it not been delivered yet, really? Wow, it's still 15 minutes away. That's pretty sad. <clears throat> That's really sad, actually. Okay, well, hmm. Oh, I'm getting a lot of new Idabao referral orders. I see lots of you are taking advantage of their Idabao brand anniversary sale. Personally, I recommend the ID80. Um, it's my favorite board ever. 
So there you go. What do you think about banana splits there, Switch? Alright, so I'm just tightening this bad boy up. I mean, it's a very cute board. A very cute board. My friends are making fun of me for ordering a mystery box. Honestly, I would make fun of you, except I also ordered a bunch, so. But I'm addicted to gambling. But I'll still kind of make fun of you. You probably should have just bought a normal keyboard. It would have been a better financial choice. All right, well, We've got to just put the feet on and then we're good to go. Got four little rubber feet. Oh, there we go. Gotcha, but keyboards. Yeah, have you ever played Genshin Impact and when, and you look down at your keyboard and you're like, man, I wish I could gamble with my keyboard. Except, you know, keyboards are much more fun than Genshin Impact. Much more fun. There we go. Let's put these on. Okay. All right. Boom. Bada bing. Bada boom. Ugh, I really don't like the sound of these switches. But you know what they say, you get what you get and you don't throw a fit. But this is the keyboard that we ended up with out of bunch of mystery boxes which is kind of fun um it looks great honestly like aesthetics wise it's pretty good so i think if i put normal switches in here instead of just stock switches um then it would probably sound better um like you you hear like you hear a really nice poppiness from this like it's got potential it's got potential, I think. Put the aluminum keycap for escape. Good point. So we've got, oh, it's a W though. It's a W in a different profile. But let's listen to it. Oh, and a switch popped out. Oh my God. It's Freaking lawnmower man back again. Ooh. 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 When you want to escape, but you actually W. That ain't that bad. Ooh. Cursed. First. Yeah, it's it's the switches that are pinging. They are so spring pingy. So spring pingy. It's kind of sad, not gonna lie. But yeah, I mean, that's the board. Let's see if we can get it to work. Hold on. Let's see if we can get VIA open. Let's see if it's got VIA firmware or not installed, or if I have to flash that myself. Um, it is not recognized by VIA yet. I'd probably have to flash that myself. Um, which like, I'm not sure how I would change any of the lighting settings on this guy, but Every key seems to work. Oh. Except backspace is a bracket. 
What? What's the actual backspace? What? Okay, I don't know. I have absolutely no idea. Well. Rip. Anyways, this was what we ended up with from the mystery box. It's a silly 40%. You cannot make errors. This is a keyboard where the backspace is actually BS. Um, I can probably reflash the hardware, yeah. Well, in fact, there's a reset button on the bottom. Let me just hit that. Okay. Let's see. I hit the reset button. Let me unplug it and plug it back in. Nope, backspace is still, for some reason, left bracket. Um, I could rebind this in the future. Somehow. I don't know why backspace is left bracket. Maybe it's broken. Maybe it's a broken keyboard, but they've got firmware for it. So you could... Is one of the space bars backspace? No, the space bar was a space bar. That was an FN. I tried FN backspace. That didn't work. Um, anyways, I think it's got VIA support, so I think I could reflash it with VIA, theoretically. But maybe the keyboards you get will have a non-working backspace button. Who knows? Maybe that's why it came in the $30 mystery box when it's a $115 keyboard. Uh, this, the space bar is a space bar. Yeah. But it's pretty. It's cute. Put it up on your wall. Don't use it as a keyboard. 40% keyboards don't deserve to be uh, used as keyboards anyways. So, <clears throat> Sorry, that was toxic. My bad. A D-stock moment. Yeah, maybe. Display keyboard for sure. Sad. Okay. Anyways, guys, I think that's it. Um, the keyboard looks quite cool. The mystery box idea is interesting. Um, let's see the bigger one. I didn't get a bigger one. I just got the small one, unfortunately. Um, now, the Idabao sale. The Idabao sale. The Idabao brandiversary is running for the next two weeks. So you can check it out for the next two weeks. They're doing up to 50% off site-wide, depending on the product that you're looking at, with a bunch of different flash sales running. So make sure you stay tuned for the flash sales. In fact, some stuff is up to 60% off, even. That's crazy. I don't know why they say 10 to 50% off, and then some stuff up to 60% off. It doesn't make sense. Anyways, they're doing a sale. Um, check them out at the link down below. They did sponsor this stream. I don't really recommend the mystery boxes, but I do recommend that you check out some of their other keyboards that are pretty good. Uh, those I do recommend. I don't necessarily condone gambling. Uh, gambling is not that keen, especially since a lot of you are younger. I don't recommend gambling. Thank you very much. Oh gosh, but 40% keyboards are whack. Um, and that's my verdict. 40% keyboards are really whack. Make a video about it. So. 100% get subscribed. I will be making a video about it. Uh, sorry, there's no link for Twitch chat, but you can go to idabow.net slash question mark ref equals hippio, which is my referral link. Um, so hold on, let me open up Twitch chat. I'll send it to you, Twitch. One second. Let me go to my channel on Twitch and uh, here you go. There's the link for all of you on Twitch. I just sent it. There's the link for all of you on Twitch. I just Boom. sent it. Boom. All right. Boom. Cool. All right. It's just RNG. Ah. Hmm. Hmm. Well, anyways, that's the stream. Uh, please check out Ido Bow's brand, Diversary. There you go. That's. Basically, all I was sponsored to say. So, and I was going to shill for it anyways, even if they didn't sponsor me. Oopsie doopsie. 
I think the keyboard we ended up with is interesting and I'll have more on it in the final video, maybe. Anyways, that's that. Um, I think that's actually it for the stream today, y'all. I hope you had fun. Did you have fun? I did. I thought I had fun. Um, more content next week. Maybe another stream later this week. Who knows? Anyways, I hope you all take care. I'll see you later. Type exclamation point music to check out my music. Please check out my music. Uh, blow it up on the algorithms times. Anyways, take care.